Good morning. Um, what we have here is a peripheral blood smear uh, showing some atypical mononuclear cells. Uh, they seem to have, uh, at least some of them, uh, eccentric nuclei. Uh, what we note here are cytoplasmic projections, shaggy cytoplasm, uh, coffee bean nuclei, mildly clumpy chromatin, uh, things to think about or consider are, are these plasma cells in circulation or plasma cell leukemia, uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, uh, could this be a spl splenic marginal zone circulating atypical lymphocytes, or splenic lymphoma with villous lymphocytes, uh, diffuse red pulp lymphoma of the spleen, could this be uh, a low-grade lymphoma like follicular lymphoma with circulating atypical lymphocytes or mantle cell lymphoma, but they don't have uh, clefting and cytoplasm is uh, somewhat abundant. Or large granular lymphocytic leukemia, uh, but we don't see uh, cytoplasmic uh, granules. We don't see R rods or prominent clefting. We do note maybe uh, some indistinct nucleoli, small nucleoli. case, tiny nucleoli, cytoplasm. This case in contrast has, uh, it seems like there's a more abundant cytoplasm. Again, we note the nucleoli. Some do have some shaggy uh, cytoplasmic borders but much more abundant cytoplasm and small nucleoli. Uh, some of them are uh, have shown eccentric nuclei, uh, fine chromatin, not so clumpy. By flow cytometry on side scatter, we notice a, a bright uh, CD45, a uh, typical lymphoid population uh, on the aqua colored population. Also uh, CD20, uh, CD19 positive, uh, 22, CD19 positive, uh, surface lambda light chain restriction, uh, CD10 negative, CD5 negative, uh, CD103, CD22 positive. And CD25 negative. Uh, so this would be considered a hairy cell variant, hairy cell leukemia variant. Uh, these are usually CD25 negative, uh, with some have uh, p53 aberrations. Um, other entities that are CD103 positive are enteropathy associated T cell lymphoma uh, or splenic marginal zone lymphoma. Thank you.